Unity is rare in the House of Commons, reserved mostly for when the country faces moments of grave danger, times of war, a terror attack. Oral questions, the Honourable Opposition House Leader. Today, the trade dispute with the United States joined that list. We are all Canadians first and we will stand with Canadian workers and the families impacted by this escalating trade war. While Canadians stand together, President Trump stands alone. Mr. Speaker, will the government work with all parties in this House to present a unified response to Trump? Honourable Minister. The gesture of respect was gratefully accepted. We will always stand with Canadian workers and thank our colleagues opposite for their support. Cross-party support may become crucial as Ottawa prepares for the worst-case scenario. Senior government sources tell CBC News officials are drawing up a list of ways for Canada to retaliate if Donald Trump follows through on his threat to impose new tariffs on Canada. The White House is considering additional 25% tariffs on imported vehicles on top of the tariffs already in place on steel and aluminum. Sources say one way Canada could fight back is by putting even more tariffs on more American goods. President Trump can go off and have his tantrums and say what he wants. We shouldn't respond to it. I think it's uh, beneath us. Sources say the Prime Minister will now try to bring a level of professionalism back to the trade talks. But the open hostility is a point of embarrassment for some Americans. I'm going to say one thing. Trump. The day after his profane denouncement of the U.S. president, actor Robert De Niro was in Toronto with this message for Canadians. I just want to make a note of apology for the idiotic behavior of my president. Ottawa is not expecting any apologies from the White House. Canada's focus now will be to try to prevent any new tariffs from being imposed. The Foreign Affairs Minister will lead that effort when she heads to Washington later this week. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa. It's not just Canadian officials and businesses worrying about this escalating trade dispute. Have a look at what the U.S. Chamber of Commerce sent out today. Basically, it's a big red flag. The number of U.S. jobs it says are at risk thanks to the Trump administration. Here's the first one. 624,000. That's how many American jobs could be lost if Trump does go ahead with those auto tariffs, again, according to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. 470,000, they say, the number of American jobs already under threat because of those steel and aluminum tariffs. Trump imposed those on most countries now, including Canada. And the big one, 1.8 million. That's how many jobs top U.S. business leaders say will be lost in the first year alone if Trump walks away from NAFTA. OK, so if those numbers don't move Trump or, or worry anyone, maybe these images will. This map, it's been doing the rounds on social media, shows how many states rely most on Canada when it comes to importing goods. There's about 14 of them. And these are the states for which Canada is their number one partner for exports. More than half of all U.S. states sell the bulk of what they sell to Canada.